is what we woke up to this morning. Um, snow. <laughs> what is funny is I have, uh, like the past couple days, I've been able to go outside in just a hoodie and nothing else, not even a coat or anything like that. Uh, now, it still is freezing when you go in stores like Walmart. I don't know why they keep it so cold, but they do. Um, but it's been decent, really, really decent weather. And so uh, last night, uh, they were saying that we were supposed to get some snow, and we did. It, um, it, as you can see, it's not on the road or anything like that, but, um, but it's just a surprise. So, um, it, well, it shouldn't be a surprise because it's February, and of course we're going to get snow in February. But what is always a surprise is when it's been nice weather, and then to go back to this, it's kind of like, it's kind of like it's playing with you, you know? And, uh, like you're being played with. You're, you're getting used to the warmer temperatures and then it's going to do this to you. It's a tease. Yeah, it's a tease. But I'm, I'm glad that it's not on the road at all. The high today is only supposed to be what? 30, yeah, 31 degrees. And, uh, so right now we are on the bypass. This is called the bypass in Winchester, Kentucky. And uh, we're out. It is 9.54, 9.55 in the morning on Saturday. And so there's not a lot of traffic right now. Now it will pick up later, but this isn't like, a, you know, it's not, it's not, it doesn't get really, really busy, I don't think, unless it's like during the school day or the work day or something like that. This road can get backed up when people are getting off of work and in the morning when kids are going to school. But this time of day, I never expected to be too bad. And Kevin and I have found that going, the earlier you go shopping, the better it's going to be for you because you're not going to have to deal with all the traffic. So, and that's not, I mean, that's not just true for, for Christmas shopping or whatever. That's year-round shopping because I, for us on like Saturday, the, the busiest time for like Target is going to be right around, what would you say, one or two in the afternoon? Yeah, one or two. Yeah, so the best time to get out to stores and go shopping is going to be in the morning. So, yeah, this isn't bad at all. We, we, I don't know if you can see, you probably can't see what we have from side to side here, but um, there's some restaurants. We have a Frisch's Big Boy. Uh, we have a place called DJ's. We have a bypass rental, which is really nice for renting big equipment for your, to uh, do stuff around the house. Arby's, if you've ever watched any of Arby's uh, reviews from Kevin on his Lunchtime Review channel. Uh, we even have a CBD place, which I've never been in. But do those vape shops or anything, I, yeah, I don't do that, so I don't go in those places. But we even have those. Kevin and I have noticed a growing trend. I mean, it's been going on for a while, uh, but uh, very specifically in grocery stores, you know, years ago when you would see somebody walking around and just talking to themselves, <laughs> it had a completely different meaning. <laughs> than it have been a little off. <laughs> yeah, than it does now. So, you know, and sometimes you still see people talking <laughs> to themselves and you think, you know the difference between that talking to they're them. They're arguing with themselves. Yes, <laughs> yes, there's usually, there's a difference, but there is a, uh, there's a big uh, trend that, well, I mean, it's just, it's not a trend, it's just the, the, the way it is now. Modern day technology. Modern day <laughs> technology, where used to, you used to not be able to talk, when you went to work, whether it's in, if you went to work in the morning, noon, night, whenever you worked, you would not get to talk to your loved ones normally. Or listen to music for that matter. Right, unless you went on a break or you wouldn't get to talk to them until you got off that night. So, like, I know when Kevin, way back, Kevin would go to work in the morning. He would call me at lunch. Every single day at lunch we would talk. And his, the guy he worked with, his office mate, thought that was completely bizarre that we talked every single day at lunch. Uh, but we did. And um, then he would come home that afternoon. Uh, nowadays, whether it doesn't matter if you're working or not, we 
see people talking all day long. So, we were just in Meyer, and there was a guy stalking the, um, the frozen foods in Meyer, and he was talking. He had the, the thing in his ear, and he was talking uh, the whole time. Our mail people, our mail people that deliver mail to our house, they are, they're talking every day. So or like, listening to music. Um, the ones that I see are talking, yeah. literally talking every single day. They're like having a conversation with people. And so, like I said, Kevin's office mate used to wonder, how do you all talk every day at lunch? I mean, he didn't even see how we kept up a conversation, I guess, for 15 minutes every day. And these people are talking like, it would seem for hours and hours as they're going along their route. And um, so that, and I'm not saying I think there, there's nothing wrong with it. I honestly think it's great. I, I think it is, um, well, I'm going to take that back. I, I can see the benefits and the downfalls. The benefits, I think, um, I don't mind the male people doing it because it does, they've already, um, they've already gotten everything sorted out. And so, and we haven't had any trouble for a long time in getting the wrong mail. No, Have you noticed that? Yeah, we haven't. We used to get the wrong mail all the time. And that hasn't happened in a while. And so they have already gotten the mail sorted out. And so it's not like their phone conversation is distracting them. At least it has not been any issue for us. I do think it can be a bit of a deterrent to customers in the store when if they need something and the person is carrying on a conversation that like ordinarily you would go to that stock person the person stocking stuff and say hey do you know where this is do you know where the newest Hudsonville ice cream is well, there would be a lot of people that would not want to go up to them and interrupt their conversation uh, because they're in the middle of another conversation and they would consider that rude. Well, even when they're not talking though, they've got the headphones and you know they're listening to music. Yeah. That's what I'm saying there. A lot of times they're listening to music too. Is a lot There's a car in front of this person. So I know. I don't think and I it's know like they going. don't know where they're going. Get off the road. Yeah. Um, we were in Aldi the other day and the girl checking out, um, the cashier had earbuds in. Oh. She had the Apple, the white Apple earbuds in. Right. So I'm assuming she's listening to music or she's just waiting for somebody to call, but then it's like. That makes sense at Aldi because Aldi doesn't have music. Yeah, but they're supposed to be working. They are, but Aldi doesn't have any music and they don't talk to you that much anyway. They don't. They, they ring usually up and say they... hi and they're ringing you up so quick you are in and out yeah. of there, which I have no problem with. Yeah, at that's all. true. Um, you are in and out, and can I get over? I don't know. I'll you just, I'll just that's okay. I'll just stay in this lane for right now, and then I'll worry about getting over. You got the mirrors to work with. I don't. So you do mind it? I don't mind it as long as they're they're helping you. I just think it's interesting that you know we couldn't have listened to a Walkman walking around back in the day. We we're listening to our tapes or our CDs with our headphones on. We couldn't have done that back. No, then. because you're not giving the customer your yeah, attention. Yeah, you're not giving the full attention to your customers. But yeah. I think it's just more acceptable that people have earbuds in. Uh, that's not to say that it's allowed. They just get away with it. <laughs> oh, well, they have to know. I mean, the people, their bosses would, you know. their bosses would have to know <laughs> that they're... Uh, See them. That, that, that they would, yeah, you would see them. I mean, because it's very obvious yeah. when you walk into an aisle and they're talking and nobody else is around. Um... I don't mind as long as they're uh, if, as long as they're not rude to me when I come up and ask yeah. them something. And so far, I have not had that issue. Um, I am still. There are so many places where you have to check yourself out now. So, like Meyer, you don't have to. You don't have to. No, they have a few hours. They do. They have a few hours. But we honestly, we prefer to do it ourselves. Um, so Most of the time, it's quicker. Yes, I think in Meyer it's quicker. I think it can be quicker in Walmart when they have enough of them open. The problem is with Walmart, a lot of times, depending on what time of day you go in, they have half of those self-checks closed yeah. 
because they don't have the people. I guess they don't feel like they have the you know, people to man them. And Which is funny because they've they've converted them all to almost all self check with like five regular aisles. They'll have one regular aisle open and like three of the five self checks open. And it's like, and each one of the self check only has like two or three actual registers you can use. So it's like, who came up with this brilliant idea? You know? I, I, um, I'm still. Meyer like, has one big section you walk into and it's got like what? Yes. Eight, oh, probably eight bunch. or nine checkout lanes yes. all in one section. So they couldn't close that off if they wanted No, to. so at least, but only one person usually takes care of all of it. Maybe yeah. two sometimes, but yeah. usually it's just one. I like the way Meyer does it more than Walmart. They also don't complain about every single freaking thing you ring up like Kroger does. Kroger? Kroger's the, the worst. worst software I've ever seen in my yes. life. Yes, Kroger's the worst. the worst because you can explain it. What What is different about Kroger? Well, or first of all, every time you ring up something, they'll go, uh, put it in your bag you know and it's like i just rang it up literally a millisecond ago and you're already telling me it's you, in my bag i haven't had time to put it yeah, in my bag i haven't had time to literally move my arm from the scanner to the bag okay help make me. sure you put all your items in the bag it's like yes you psycho computer woman you can get over don't get all the way over but you can get behind him this one no the next one um psycho computer cashier thing um so anyway it's like yeah but then if you don't if you don't move fast enough, it'll say, Oh, make sure you ring up each item and it's like, Yes, I did. You just told me to put it in the bag and then you literally gave me a three seconds to put it in the bag and saying I already bring up stuff wrong. So it just drives me crazy. And, and then the coupons, you have I to was hand the say, coupons to the, the person. The coupons, they don't trust you with the coupon at Kroger. Walmart doesn't care. Walmart. It's like, scan 50 coupons, I don't care. Yes. Slide them in the little slot, I'm done. Yes, Walmart's done. Whereas Kroger, they want, <laughs> you have to hand it to the employee at Kroger and let them take Verify, care of it. Yeah. Yes, because they want to make sure that you're just not, that you don't have something fake. It's just nuts. Um, but, of course, Walmart probably loses a lot more groceries and stuff than Kroger does, yes. but, you know. I think Walmart is very, they watch, they really do watch. Um, and, and it makes me feel like a criminal, even though I'm not doing anything wrong. It's like, you know, you can tell that they're coming up behind you or they're trying to be discreet about it. But you can tell that they're making sure that you rang up the drinks and stuff like that in your buggy and they have to do yeah. that i understand yeah. um, kroger i think still has the scale system where where it like knows how much the item weighs and if it weighs right. something different when you put it over on the side in the bag mm -hmm. it knows walmart i think has went away from the scale i mean they because you can scan so at walmart put it directly in your buggy yeah and, and then and the people to, just yeah. verify that you're you're okay yes so because we do drinks like that all the time we just get the they got the little hand scanner we'll just take the hand scanner and go bloop, 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 and right. then be done with it whereas kroger doesn't even have hand scanners there are places though or at least our kroger doesn't. um that still that i can't see uh ever having well i mean they might but i can't see it happening having self-check like anytime you go in Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, they all, you have to stand in line and they, they're, yeah, I think they no, worry too much about, about clothes and stuff. Yeah. Cause you could easily, I mean, I don't know, but I would think you could hide clothes or, or yeah. maybe not make it look like you were ringing up two things and you only rang up one. Yeah. And, and they're so light, they couldn't weigh them or anything. And so. then like, uh, oh, you could put a shirt in a, in a shirt yes. and have two things. And, you could and bring up one. Yes. And, yeah. You could get away with a lot of clothing. Yeah. You really could. So I'm I, glad uh, Lowe's and stuff has went to self-check now. Um, even the Dollar, uh, Dollar, Dollar General? General has self-check. I don't know about the Dollar Store. I don't know the Dollar, uh, Dollar, Dollar Tree, General. as far as I know, we don't shop in there very often, but last time we were in there, it was still, they still had people, they still had people checking stuff out. I know some people are very anti-self-check, like, like yes. I'm paying you to do this stuff. Why are you making me do your work? Yes. Yes. There are people who complain about that. Um, big lots, big lots, they still check you out. Yeah. I wonder if that's just because our old big lots is old. And then, more food trucks around here. And then Aldi, Aldi, of course, still checks you out. But I'm going to tell you. Oh, they're fast. I think if I had to say who is the best checkout I know of, as far as they, they check you out, I think it's Aldi. Oh, yeah. 
course, they don't bag anything up either, but they, they're still but fast. They're so fast, and they have those barcodes all around the product. <coughs> yeah, which makes it quick. It makes it really, really quick and easy. So I think as far as people checking you out, and they don't ask for anything. They don't ask for a donation. They don't ask if you want... Buy magazines. Yeah, they don't <laughs> I haven't heard ask. That one. I haven't heard that one for a while. But they don't ask anything. No. Does she ask if you want your receipt printed? Or no, they always hand you a receipt. Okay, so see, they're not asking you any questions. They're so they just, know it's anything they ask will slow things down. Yes, and so it's just so quick. So I do have to say, I think Aldi is the best checkout. And, and that's for, as far as people checking you out. What would you say is a place where you hate checking, being checked out oh, by Kroger's people? Oh, Kroger's the worst. Oh, you know, by people? By people. Uh, probably Big Lots. I'm going to say Big Lots. Yeah. Although, if I went to... And, and Home Goods. Yeah, I was going to say, if we shopped at Home Goods and stuff more often, I'd probably say that one because they always ask you for a donation. They ask you for but, stuff. But Big Lots is worse because she actually gets offended. She gets... No. Yeah, Big Lots, the woman... Well, It's she, just that one particular woman, though. She gets upset when you don't scan your card, too. I know. See, I have it on my app. I've got an app on my phone. She scans. And, and yeah, but she always I have gone through her line before, and uh, she and I haven't used it. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to bother with it. And she's like, it really aggravated her. I she's think like, they get points or something. I they probably get something. They do. It. They do. But it's like that company, it's not fair for the company to put that pressure on their employees. Yeah. I've seen like five food trucks when we've gone down this road. Mm hmm so as far as checking your Look, there's one and there's well, there's one right there there's a lot of fish right so as far as checking yourself out you would say kroger's the worst, kroger's the worst. as far as slowing you down and just making you i mean it's not it's almost not worth it mm -hmm. then kroger's the worst i think lowe's is just comical because oh how they watch you yes i think yes because it's like well it's the expensive time, big stuff it is but the time that they spent watching me that person was so busy they could have just checked me out they could have. truly they could and they sometimes at lowe's they don't have a regular aisle to check you out they just have self check they out. just have self check and it's like the time you spent watching me literally scan they were literally sit there and stare. each individual <laughs> they're, item they're not even uh um and, the, you know, trying to hide it. it. They're no, right there. and then it's like you realize, don't you, that you could have scanned those items, and then there would have been no doubt in your mind. And you know, I like it, Lowe's and self check though, because I don't like Santa a lot. I do, I do too. I'm just saying the way that they have them watching. Oh yeah, it's kind of like ridiculous. it's it's like pointless. It's like they may as may as well just be doing that. But I can see Lowe's like if you're buying ten two by fours. Mm -hmm. They want to make sure you scan all 10 of them. Oh, they want yeah. to know how many you've got. So they're counting. And then they're going to look at their handheld and make sure that you actually scanned that many. So I understand. Because it would be easy for you to uh, oh yeah, to get away with not bringing up one. Even by accident. Yeah. You know. You know, uh, when my sister and her husband, John and Jennifer, when they bought their farm, they uh, there was a garage. There was a... a like it was a double car garage, wasn't it? It was know. it was big. It was big. It was really big. But it was falling apart. So they immediately I get over now? Yeah. Just one. Okay. Um it seems like I'd have trouble up here barging. <laughs> um they immediately had it torn down because it was falling apart and it would have been dangerous for people to go in there. There was a lot of stuff that the previous owner had left in there that they had to clean out. Junk, and, old furniture. Yeah, it was a, yeah, it was a bunch of junk. So they got rid of that and they had fully planned to rebuild a double car garage. And you know you're gonna have to tell me exactly okay, where to go. Okay. Um, I get off at your road, don't I? No. I don't get off at least now? Oh, okay. Um, so they have waited, they've had the money to do it for, for years, a couple of years, but then COVID happened. And when COVID happened, Price of the prices so. of everything, which makes absolutely no sense. There was absolutely no reason, I don't think, but uh, whatever. It's a big, get, up, all the way get over, all the way, all the way, all the way, here we go, all the way. I know it was a vicious cycle. I, know I think that. it was that they didn't have people working to cut down the trees and make the wood. And, yes, you know. so I know there was a reason behind it. But then for prices to stay, stay inflated, way. I don't think there was any reason for the prices but to stay But at this time, inflated. you would think the prices would have stabilized by now. 
But, uh, uh, so my, basically I'm saying. Green light people, go. Yeah, go. Get out while you can. Am I getting in the right lane or left you're lane? You're going to stay in the lane that you're supposed to stay. Okay. <laughs> stay but, here. So you don't want me to get over? You can get over whatever you can. I can't now because I well, would have. you got to walk. Jeez, is God. this lane going to end? Way up here, though. Okay. See, I would have gone ahead and gotten over. You were not in the right lane. You were in the right lane, not the left lane. Oh, are you saying that other people could have turned at the same time as me just now? Yes. Oh. oh. It was two lanes turning right. Oh, I didn't know that. that big arrow that was pointing oh. to the right in there. So I am going to have to get over that? At some point, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead. I didn't realize that two it's lanes. Both lanes oh, well, see, now I understand. You, you just have to explain to me. Instead of, you just assume that. <laughs> It's the big white arrows on the road I thought would explain But things. I didn't they look just, at them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder why I'm over here puckered. <laughs> uh, what did I do? You turned right in front of somebody. I did. So I, they had the right of way to go straight. She was turning left. It's been a couple weeks ago. And she was turning left. And uh, she just went. I didn't it was know green, they could come. I didn't it know said, they could turn. It said straight traffic gets, has the right of way or you must yield or something. I didn't see said. that because so, I wasn't paying attention. So she wasn't paying attention, just literally just turned right in front of a white car. Oh, well, see, I truly <laughs> didn't know both lanes got to turn. Anyway, so, okay, well, I'm glad you explained that to me because I was like, <laughs> why am I supposed to know? You acted like I was supposed to know this, and I didn't. <laughs> you were supposed to know that. Um, anyway, back to Jennifer. They, they've been waiting to build this garage, and they they haven't built the garage because the prices of wood and all that stuff skyrocketed during COVID, and they were hoping the prices would go back down. Well, I swear I was just talking to her on the phone the other day, and she said that, uh, I think she said John had told her that prices are going up even more. So oh, really? prices aren't going down. They're going up. This road is horrible. Yeah, they're doing all this construction. That's where Publix is going to be. That's where Publix is going to be? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Can we see anything uh, over there? They're just fighting in the land right now. Okay. I wish we could turn the camera around. It does. I mean, there's nothing to see. Okay. We are at the corner of Citation and something. I don't Georgetown. know. And Georgetown Road. And Pub this is where a Publix is going to be. And I... I cannot wait to get, there's not much to see right now. I cannot just, yeah, it's just land. I cannot wait to get Publix. Publix opened, they opened a store in Louisville, Kentucky, which is what, two hours away? An hour and a half yeah, away? Yeah, like an hour and a half, two hours. They opened a Publix in Louisville, Kentucky about, I don't know, a month or so ago. And um, it, uh, people were thrilled to death, I know, to have one. Well, they're we've heard they're going to get two two Publix grocery stores in Lexington, and I'm really excited to get it. I've heard it's nice and bright and clean, and it's a nice store. However, I've also heard that it's very, very expensive, and I've also heard from someone who uh, shops there occasionally that, uh, well, he said, and it's not my dad, if you're wondering, it's not my dad, it's somebody who lives in Florida. He said, I've gotten to the point where I pretty much, I really hate going in Publix. He said because Publix has gotten to the point where they don't like putting prices on stuff. They'll say, buy, buy two and save this much. But they don't say how much it they don't see how much it costs. They don't say how much it costs. And he said, and it's really expensive. He said it's more expensive, a lot more expensive than other stores. But then you don't know how much you're paying for stuff. Um, so it will be interesting for me, of course, you know, Kevin and I review things, so we're going to buy stuff that people probably wouldn't buy, you know, if stuff's more expensive there, then people will shop at other places, but I still think they'll do a good business. Oh, yeah, well. I think they'll do really well, and we do have Publix um, reviews on the channel where people have sent us bars and stuff like that. They've mailed them to us. And, um, you know, stuff like that. Well, we'll be able to try a lot more of that stuff. I'm excited to see what frozen foods they carry. 
I like, think they have sandwiches and stuff too, don't they? They have sandwiches. We're definitely going to try the sandwich for Publix. Um, but I'm like, I'm interested, like, do they have their own line of pizzas and do they have their own line of frozen ice creams, frozen ice creams or, or meals that you can review on your Lunchtime Review channel? Um, that will be interesting to see if, if, you know, you might get to introduce a whole new line of food on that your lunchtime review channel you know it's open when we start doing a bunch of public stuff <laughs> well and i'm it's sure this and public stuff. <laughs> i'm sure i'll film oh yeah i'm sure i will film when we go in there um and they'll be busy they'll probably be so busy that you won't be able to the move. first couple weeks they will be yeah the whole house it's pretty isn't it See, it's falling apart it's pretty but they're working on it at the Aldi we go to in Lexington, there's two Aldis, but we only go to one. Um, they only do, we had just finished telling you, they only do where there's a cashier. They check you out. That's the only option you have. We just, we went to Georgetown and they have an Aldi in Georgetown. It looks brand new. And yes, it looks brand new. It is so big, like, <coughs> Like the size of it is really, really big. And there's so much space and everything is just bright. Really and, out. Yeah, it's just so nice. Anyway, they have self check. Yeah, they have like at least two. They have self check at that Aldi and people were using them. We have never, we don't have self check at our Aldi. You so, know, our Aldis are both in old buildings that were something else before they were Aldis, I think. Really? I don't think they were built before Aldi. Oh, I'm wondering if anybody's been in Lexington around long enough to know what those were before yeah. they I mean, were I could be wrong. Them. I was thinking the one over, oh, uh, you know what, then again, I don't know. That It always seemed old even when it was new, you know? Right. Some places are like that. So yeah. maybe it was new. It just, they didn't, they just made it look old. It just looked old. <laughs> it looked old. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I thought, you know, here we just had a conversation about that. So y you all were probably thinking... Oh, they do have all these where there's a self check. Well, this now Aldi. Now we've seen one. You know what though? Honestly, they're so fast and efficient. I cannot imagine you being able to check yourself out any quicker than Unless they can. Unless there's a line. Yes, and and a lot of times in our Aldi there is a line. So that that absolutely could be the case. But just know if you. Um, if you're around Georgetown, Kentucky, they have a very nice, the nicest Aldi store we've yeah, ever been in. Nice yeah. So this is a Garden Springs, and there is a store over here called the Rusty Scabbard, right Great. there. Yeah, it's a game store. So um, I'll show you some footage from inside there. The Witcher. Oh, man. Dr. Who, up at the top. I know, I know. Here's a, here's the man that you paint. Towns and stuff, like a zombie duck game. Oh, that's neat. Mm -hmm. I can see getting into painting and stuff again. This is my eyes were hitting so bad when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. I wish we could find one little thing for. See, I like, I love painting this whole thing. But I wasn't good at it, but I like it. You think you could sit at the desk and do it? Tree of Despair. Maybe how much money went into the paints. These are cool. Those are cool. Look at that one. Reaper bones must be the new one. Oh, that's Reaper. Okay. Reaper is the brand they were selling. 
Aduh, saya kongsi dulu aku aja Aduh, makan saya Aduh They sure look like they do. I wonder how much they are. Yeah, it is because those are in packages right next to it. Okay. I remember looking at websites and just looking at all the different. Mm-hmm. Oh, if you wanted to get into it again, I wouldn't care. Yeah, that's Awesome. Uh, I absolutely love Steampunk that. Kind of thing. I wonder if you could just hang that from the. It's got a stain in it. I wonder if you could hang it though. These are Southern like Star Wars characters, if you can think. I have a lot of Star Wars. Oh, it's a game. A hundred nine dollars. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> But right here, um, I wanted to show you uh, what this looks like now because there's been just there's been there's been a lot of things over in this area, and we don't get over in this area very often at all. So uh, there is an auto zone up here, and then down here at the end, there's a big lots. But this used to be years ago. This used to be a grocery store. Do you yeah, Kroger or something. Was it Kroger? Okay, because I, I would think remember. so. I mean, so so this heck, is, it looks might have been a Win Dixie. We're on now. So this is all that's in this area. But what I want you to see is on up the street. I'm going to show you there. There used to be a mall here called Tarflin Mall. And the, uh, the whole mall has been taken up by um, Home Depot, isn't it? It looks like it. I don't know what's there's all There's the old mall right there, too. Where? On the other end up there. Well, there's a Lexington Surgery Center right there. Yeah, but I think this is all, this was all used to be the mall right here. I think they actually just turned down the mall. I don't think there's anything uh, you can get through here. No, I think I am in the Home Depot parking lot. Yeah, this used to be the mall, basically, and they've just torn down the mall and basically you kept the Home Depot. You think they rebuilt? I think they, yeah, they just tore it down. So is there any pieces I of the mall so. left? That's what I'm saying. I, th I thought that was up there, but I don't think it is. Yeah, I think these are old new buildings over here. Yeah, see, I didn't know if that was an old mall or not. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's just uh, there's a UK uh, center on aging, and then I think the mall was literally right through yeah, here. Yeah, right there. And actually, it's, you can tell it's kind of a, uh, you can tell it's like gravel. Yeah, I like I wouldn't want to drive through there. No, I don't think you could drive through. There. <laughs> 
Yeah, all this fencing and stuff is barely old. But my dad and I, my dad and I were talking, and we were, and he was asking me. He said, "What is over where Turfla Mall is, uh, used to be?" And well, this is it. This is uh, this UK Aging Center, and then this is another uh, UK um, dentistry. Yeah, I think it was a dentistry place, and then. Um, uh, you're going places only. It says do not enter. Yeah, it says only. I can turn. And then there's a Longhorn. So, have we ever eaten at Longhorn? Yeah, it's been a long time ago. Have I eaten at Longhorn? Yeah, it's been a long time oh, ago. See, I don't even remember. Yeah, we uh, went there with somebody in your family. Oh, did we? Yeah. Some what was jockey. They were, they were talking, not a jockey, but they were talking about working with horses and stuff. I don't and know. Came I don't know why we... Red Oh, but my cousin. Yeah. Okay. So the sign still is here. The sign still is here that says uh, Turflin Mall. And there's a Verizon store here. And then there is a Staples, which I'll show you in just a second. Yeah, this was the main entrance to the mall. Now that's one way. You I know. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> so you can see the Staples right here in front of me. What is that restaurant right there? Um, nothing right now, I don't think. Yeah, it, it looks like that used to be an Applebee's something or something, like that. But basically, I think they tore down the whole mall. Yeah, the mall's gone. And they put up this other building. And then in the another part of Lexington, what used to be Lexington Mall, uh, there's a church there now. But it's gone too. That whole building was destroyed. Yeah. So the only mall we have, which I, I have filmed, I've done a video where we walked through the entire mall. It's been a couple of years ago, so the stores have changed, but it's called Fayette Mall. And it, it, it does good business. It does really good business. It's always busy. It's always, uh, it's very active. And I think Turflin Mall was falling apart long before Lexington Mall was. Um, Turflin Mall was never very busy. And then Lexington Mall, it was just the location of where it was at. I just don't think there was a lot of um, easy ways in and out of it. It was just not on the a busy side of town. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why it just kind of went away, basically. We're in Meyer, and they've moved on from Valentine's. And they've gotten um, some of their Easter stuff out. Now, they'll get a lot more for sure. Yeah, we haven't seen those before. I like the shape of its ears because it's, it's different. Yeah, and they have a, they have two different ones. Those are really cute. So they have a lot of the Fannie Mae rabbits. I don't know that we see a lot of the, the Fannie Mae normally. Um, we see a lot of the Russell Stover. And they have the Reese's, Peter Rabbit, yeah. And then this is all like craftsy stuff. So if you have, um, although this stuff is like a dollar ninety nine, if you go into Dollar Tree, you can get the same stuff for um, much more affordable. And then they do have lots of stuffed animals here. <gasps> Look, that's for, for Day. oh, it is for Valentine's Day. Somebody light it up there, but they do have the little peeps, and then they have bigger peeps too. This is chocolate scented. Uh, they've had chocolate oh, scented yeah. before. Oh, it does taste, uh, smell like chocolate. Yeah, those do uh, smell like chocolate. They're already getting uh, the seasonal, the pool stuff out over here, or the outdoor stuff. This is Easter basket stuff, but now, because we don't get the kids an Easter basket, if I see something different like this, I will go ahead and pick this up for Gavin, and I will put that in his stocking stuffer, because I have not bought him that one in particular before. So we'll go ahead and get that. Um, and then look, here's uh, from uh, Wish. Yeah, I really like that movie. That's a cute movie. Why don't you get that? 
And then they have this one. I don't think he'll care anything about that one. They also have this uh, Venom. Do you think he would like that? Yeah. The character? It's the character man. Yeah. Yeah, he'll like the man more than anything. And then they have these bunnies that they won't care anything about. Um, but so, yeah, because we don't get them Easter baskets, uh, we have in the past, but we don't anymore because their parents can do that. Uh, but I will, anything I see all year long, I will, um, I will go ahead and get them for their stocking. Why well, I'm grateful for you. Oh, putty. It's like silly putty, I think. I'm always grateful to get your advice on uh, the way you say blank always makes me laugh. I really like that. Why you make me smile. Why you're so awesome. These are really, really cute. <laughs> little but tall. I didn't know what those little boxes You know, were. I wish those weren't so expensive. These $10 are ten dollars a piece is a lot of money because I'll tell you what, that would be awesome for a teacher. I was thinking for Ashley to get for her students. And why you make me smile, uh, why you're so awesome, that is the perfect gift from a teacher to their student. But ten dollars a piece, they, they you couldn't do that. You'd go broke. These are like little cards you feel good. Feel good, pass it on. Thought was it says huh. pop up thirty pop up cards. You're awesome and you matter. So I guess you give those to people to strangers. Yeah, I guess so. Just put them huh. in their cars. That's interesting, that's isn't it? They park bad. You go. You're awesome for doing such a great parking job. Yeah, that's not what I'm saying. That's the opposite of what I'm saying. So they have Easter eggs down there. Ooh. Pets are made for little eggs and bunnies and bunny heads and pizza roll banks. Does anyone have any collections of Pez dispensers? I used to have a collection, and it was not a big collection. I probably had maybe 30, which, can you call that a collection? I, how many does it take to consider a collection? 10? I don't know. But I had a little collection of Pez dispensers, and uh, it just kind of happened. It, I didn't mean, I didn't like set out to collect Pez dispensers, but then I started getting a couple, and and it just ended up with this collection but then i sold them i sold them all at a yard sale because i didn't care anything about them but i've seen videos where uh there's a museum or something of this this man he collects these pez dispensers and it's it's really really cool uh to see the pez dispensers over the years i always love looking at the easter stuff just like with the valentine stuff it's nice to see what's popular at the time and like with the buckets and stuff like that you can tell what's popular These, those little felt rabbits there's an orange one there and a purple they also sell those at uh, walmart and later on in the video you'll see them at michael's and it, when we're at michael's we're wondering where have we seen those before well it was walmart walmart has bigger versions of those so I was just trying to give you a look of all the, the springtime stuff that Meyer has set out. They always have really cute bunny stuff here. This is in Michael's. They have this peeps display. And they have um, headbands and stuff like that. But then around here, they have um, these little like chocolate dipped ones chocolate scented chocolate scented peeps but i want you to see these right here look how cute those are adorable and then they yeah, have these signs yeah these aren't really stiff they're soft these are these are the stiff ones yeah they have some they're on soft. top that are we've seen have was it here that we saw those or was it They have 
dishes, yeah. Those are chargers, aren't they? Yeah, chargers. Yeah. Um, we should walk over. After we look here, we should walk over. I just saw their um, chocolate melts right there on the end. This is like a, a countdown. Look at the little pig. Mm -hmm. I love these baskets over here. They're very natural looking, kind of like fairy-like, especially those on that top shelf. They look like little fairy baskets. And then, of course, they have a large variety of eggs. And these are plainer eggs. Oh, look at him and his glasses. Smart looking rabbit. Yeah, you put your name on it. Like the Dunn family or whatever. I wonder how many people actually do those. Uh, th that woodworking stuff. You would have to be really creative to be able to fill in those eggs. Now this is in TJ Maxx. I did put TJ Maxx on the screen so you would know. They were swamped when we went in. So I didn't film very much. It was kind of hard to film. Because I, I just try not to get anybody in the on the screen if I can help it. Oh, there's two of them. Miss Mamie and Miss Emily. <laughs> Did you see the mushrooms? Uh, this reminds me of what I have at home. Yeah, same, same style. Yes. We didn't even buy anything on this trip to TJ Maxx. Uh, I noticed, I think a lot of the uh, special Easter food was up at the registers, and the line was backed up so much that I didn't even walk up there. It's just not worth me getting the dirty looks and the stairs people think you're cutting, um, and really, you just want to look and see what food's for sale at the register. Yeah, these are the ones that I have right now. Yeah. I like those. Look at Peter Rabbit. Oh, yeah. Do you see the pug? Oh, yeah. Kind of sad. I don't think a pug would ever eat a carrot. A pug would not eat a carrot. Guido wouldn't have touched a carrot. We'd have put that in his mouth and spit it back out. Yeah. We're in Kroger. It's a tennis shoe. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cute. Um, this is uh, Kroger, and they've gotten all the Easter stuff out in here. And I can't remember, honestly, if I filmed any Easter stuff in Kroger. I, <laughs> I think it's more disturbing watching your <laughs> watching your face <laughs> while you do that, you weirdo. Uh, but I, I couldn't remember if I had actually filmed any Easter in uh, Kroger or not. What does that do? Thank you. Ah. This is the Kroger that is so loud, especially in this area. They got on the speaker to make an announcement. And after they the music was going, and then they made the announcement, and then the music came back on, and I swear it seemed like once the music came back on, it was like it was even louder than than it was uh, to begin with. Look at all these Squishmallow things and stuffed animals. They're so cute. And I know people collect those. Uh, they take up a lot of space. I know our grandkids have a lot of those. Uh, we haven't bought them any in a long time just because they don't have space for them. Oh, look at all the dolls with the dresses. Mm -hmm. Jennifer would love those. Those look bigger. Yeah. How much are those big ones? Because those are much bigger mm -hmm. than 
Yes, those are bigger than we've ever seen. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, the longer hair. Oh, yeah, that literally looks like chocolate. When we were here on this day, there were two ladies in one of the lanes right next to this, and they were getting stuff out of boxes just as quickly as they could, getting them on the shelf, um, and which was awesome. Uh, the bad thing was we couldn't get down that aisle at that time, but that's okay because you can always come back later. So if an aisle looks like it's too full, then just come back later. Also, these aisles are so thin. You see Kevin with the buggy. There's no way you could get two buggies down these aisles at the same time. Uh, so it that makes it difficult too, but it's always fun. We started off the beginning of the week. I showed you the snow where it had snowed. Uh, now it's all gone. As a matter of fact, Kevin and I have actually gone for a walk. Um, so if you are a YouTube supporter, uh, then I posted a picture for those YouTube members uh, of us, some crocus we saw when we were uh, walking and they're so pretty and they're, they're little purple flowers. And um, so I'm, I am trying to, speaking of that, I am trying to post uh, pictures, more pictures, uh, uh, whenever I can. Um, and I think I've done it for, I don't know, a week or so straight. I've tried to post a picture every single day and I will try to keep up with that, uh, for the YouTube supporters <clears throat> and the YouTube members. Um, I, I had tried way back to post some stuff on Patreon and I did, but then I didn't get a lot of comments on that stuff. So I felt like the people on Patreon weren't checking in with that and they weren't seeing them. So it's like, well, I'll, um, I'll put stuff on the, the YouTube members page because that's, I think, easier for, for those of you who are members, that's easier for you all to see. So it's kind of like, um, it's almost like a blog. Like I have a blog, it's TammyDunn.net. I do have a blog, but right now on that blog, it's pretty much all things that I posted many, many years ago on a previous blog. And I'm just reposting them again. And sometimes there's been things that have been current topics on there. But for the most part, that blog has been from the past. It will catch up to, though to a time where I stopped doing the blog and then it'll all be new stuff. That just hasn't happened yet. Uh, but so for the uh, YouTube members, it, um, it is actually like real time like or it's it's a picture of some sort so it might be a picture from of, of, of ashley or andrew or something when they were little and i might put a caption with it but i am trying to do that um every single day but back to the walk um it's funny we started off with snow because now my whole point of saying all this is that the snow's gone and it was so warm out i mean it wasn't like hot or anything like that but it was warm enough for us to walk around um without wearing jackets so like i was wearing a hoodie and we took a walk and it was so nice it 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 makes a world of difference in my um feelings when the sun is shining i really enjoy uh the sun shining and I, I know a lot of people love it when it rains and like it's rainy outside right now, but when it, it's raining and they love to hear the uh, the thunder and the lightning and the hard rain, and I like that too, but I would much, much, more, much rather have a sunny day. And it brightens my mood when, even when I can't go actually be out, spend time in it, just to look outside, look out the window and to see the sun shining, it makes me feel good. It, it improves my mood. Uh, not that I'm in a bad mood or anything like that, but I just, it goes a long way. 
<laughs> so I hope, I know some of you told me that you got a lot of snow this week. I really hope that the snow is leaving or has gone in your areas too. The, uh, you know, it's, it's only February. We're still in February. So it wouldn't surprise me at all if we didn't get snow again. And I, I don't even want to think about it. And that's the hardest times, I think, is when, okay, you've gone through the bad weather and then you have some really, really good weather where you can go take a walk and all that stuff. And you, then it goes back to the, the snow. That's when it hurts the most because you've experienced a little piece of how good it can be. And you don't go want to go back to where you had it before. Um, it, it, Kevin and I watched a, uh, a movie and in this movie, they they are in this just this brutally cold cold uh, weather and I just I don't see how people deal with it I don't see how people live there um, I've talked about it before I watched this um, girl on YouTube and she lives where it's really really cold and there's not a lot of people who live in her area and I think the reason she gets so many uh, views well because she has a drone and there's there's beautiful uh, views of the area where she lives um, but also people are just like I mean it's like how could you possibly live in a place like this uh, because I could never do it I could never be one of those people who lived out in the middle of nowhere you see these movies where these people these scientists they'll live and out in the middle of nowhere uh, to study certain things and and it's like how could they ever uh do that and how could they be happy and and to to leave to go outside they have to get all bundled up and it's very dangerous and that is not the life for me uh, i need to be somewhere where it's sunny preferably warm um i would prefer not to have to bundle up at all I, I, I like my hoodies. I really like wearing the hoodies and stuff like that. And I love the fall. The fall is my favorite time of year. I love the crisp air. But you could live somewhere where it's warm and have that air in the morning and then it get warm later on too. So um, it's just, yeah. So I understand uh, that some of you have told me it's been snowy where you're at, and I'm sure you're ready for it to be gone too. But I guarantee you, we're gonna we're gonna get it again. So before we get to the end of March, I'm sure we're gonna be getting it again. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video this week. I know it was kind of like a bunch of everything. We went in a bunch of different stores just because. Um, we were looking at the Easter stuff that's come out, and um, it's amazing how just how uh, much Easter stuff there is. And it's a lot of fun to see all the candies and stuff like that, and we really enjoy it. Now, I believe I said in last week's video, I, I might, might not have said it, but we, um, we don't buy Easter baskets for anybody anymore because um, Andrew and Christina will buy them for their kids, and our kids are grown up, so we don't buy any Easter baskets anymore. But it still is fun for us to see what's out there and for, for you all to be able to buy. And, of course, we're always going to review any new food or candy or, you know, Easter candy that comes along that we see. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very, very much uh, for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And we'll see you next week. <music>